Hello everyone. We will start looking at something else today. So today we are going to see how we can implement this. So basically this is a player and you can send him to different locations on the map. In process of doing so we will learn how to use vectors. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is copy paste the starter, to do, rename it to tutorial4 and open startercode.py. So I have done all that already. So this is just a starter code. Now we are going to have to keep track of two things in this program. The first is the position of the player on the screen, and the second is the position of the target where he has to move towards. So therefore we are going to create two global variables. The first one will be the position of the player, so let's say we that pause. Uh, let's place him initially in the, in the center of the screen, so 400 and 300. And we are going to need also a target, and let's say the target is initially 300, 300. So I'm creating two global variables called pause and target. And I'm putting self dot because I want to be able to access these variables everywhere, not just in here. Now let's take care of the drawing because that's pretty easy. So here the draw method executes every 40th of a second. You see that we are flashing the entire screen with white. Now after we flash the screen white, let's draw the player and let's draw the target. We are going to draw them as circles. So pygame.draw.circle is the method name where, so that screen, what color. So let's make this a red, and we are going to draw the target. So self that target is the position we want to draw in. And let's make it 30 pixels big. And right after that, let's draw the player. So pygame.draw.circle, self that screen. Let's make the player a bluish color. Self that pause, and let's make him 20 pixels big in radius. So we are just drawing those two circles. Let's see how that looks like right here. So this is the target and this is the player. Now we would like to make the target hollow and we would like to make a small black outline on the player. So let's try to do that. To make the circle hollow, the target one, that's very easy. You just have to specify an additional argument. One is the width of that circle. So let me run it again. So you see now it's hollow and this is one pixel wide here. And now to create a black outline for our player, let me just copy paste this code. And just before drawing the player, let me draw with black color a circle of radius 21. So you see what happens? I draw a black circle, radius 21, and then I draw a small, smaller blue circle, so the end result looks like that. Now of course we click and nothing happens, but we are going to fix that now. So let's first implement the code that will move the target. So we want to modify this self.target variable. We will do that in mouse up. So whenever a user clicks the mouse, this gets executed and we are given the position where the mouse click occurred. So when mouse up happens, just assign self.target to pause. That's, that's it. Uh, so let me run this. And now when I click, we are changing that variable and of course we are always drawing it in the correct position. Good. Now we are only faced with the last tricky bit. We have the position of the player and we have the target we would like to move to in a straight line. So we somehow have to increment this position always a bit closer towards target. And we are going to do this in the update method. So the update method, just like the draw method, is called 40 times a second. And it's called immediately before the draw method. So usually what you do in the update method is you update all your variables. In our case, it will be pause. And then in the draw method, you just simply draw everything. So in here, in update, we need to move pause slightly to be closer to target. Now, we are going to have to do some arithmetic here on pause so whenever you need to do arithmetic with tuples, it's best to actually not use tuples, but to use vectors. And I'm going to show you how this really simplifies everything. All you have to do is you have to put vec2d in front of it. And this is going to create a new vec2d a vector object with 400 height 300. Now the nice thing about vectors is that you can do things like you can subtract them, which you can't do with tuples. So let me create a new variable here. Let's call it therefore direction. And let's assign it self.target minus self.pause. So basically we're taking these two vectors and we're subtracting them and we're creating a new vector. 
this vector there direction is a vector that goes from the player and it points in the direction of the target and its length is the distance between the two. Now we would like to move along this direction but not the entire distance. So we are going to change the length of this vector. Its length currently is the distance but we want the length to be only the speed of the player. So let's say that the speed is 3 pixels per iteration. And now we just need to walk along this vector. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to say soft.pause is whatever it was before plus this small increment. So we are going to add on some position here of length 3. And that's all. See? Now weird things are happening when we reach there. You see how it oscillates? So let's fix that. The way to fix that is Basically what happens is you overshoot the target, you miss it by like one, and then you walk in, you walk three, you know, towards it, but you miss it again, you overshoot all the time. So basically let's only update the position, let's only do all of this if there.length is um, greater than three. Then let's do this. And if we are within three, so the distance between us is lower than three, then let's not do anything. So see we stop. And we stop because we are within 3 and it's just good enough. And that's it. Good, that's it for now. So in this tutorial we mainly introduced vectors. Vectors are extremely useful. Whenever we are going to be talking about positions on the screen, we will almost always want to use vectors and not just tuples. If you are not comfortable with some of the vector arithmetic that I did here, then check the links that I give. Um, I'm going to put some resources up. And also for the colors, if you're not comfortable with that, then there are links also that I link to in the video description. And uh, that's it for now. Next time we are going to add more agents. So there will not just be the player, but there will be more people around here and they will all be moving. So we'll see how we can handle basically several things at the same time. And uh, that's it for now. Thank you for watching and bye bye.